It's raining cats and dogs. Or fish. Let's go on an adventure. Hello and welcome to Capricious Conversations. Thank you for joining us today. It is time for us to bring you some truly bizarre facts and this month we are bringing you some truly bizarre facts about rain. It happens everywhere but not the same way everywhere. There is some very strange thing that happens with rain and we are here to tell you all about them. The first one that we are going to let you know is that raindrops are not actually shaped like raindrops. What are they shaped I know, like? it's weird, but it's true. Um. So most of us, we think of the raindrop shape as being pointy at the top and kind of roundish at the bottom. Raindrops are not shaped like that. They're actually shaped kind of more like hamburger buns. Really? There's a very good reason for this though, okay, because the raindrop, as it falls, it's encountering a lot of resistance mm -hmm. from the air, which pushes it kind of back up into itself. Yeah. If it didn't do that, then we would have rain bullets and they would mm. actually like be very harmful. So the fact that it compresses is what makes rain be nice for our plants, nice for our fields, and not kill us. I wonder how it looks when it's coming like out of the cloud. When it comes out of the cloud, it's shaped quite pointy because it's falling at significant speed. It's kind of like, you know, terminal velocity for a human is quite high until you get a parachute, which right. helps with that wind resistance. The raindrop is kind of the same way. <coughs> Once it encounters the wind resistance, it flattens out a little bit, so it doesn't kill us. Yay. If it did not do that, we would, be, you know, have little cuts every time it rained. Ouch. That would be awful. That would be terrible. Yes. Speaking of things that fall out of the air when it rains, in some parts of the world, such as in like Honduras, um, after rainstorms in Honduras, um, specifically in a town called Yoro, they have a rain fish festival because after it rains there, they have live fish on the ground. Wow. Do they actually fall from this guy? Because that would be wild. Well, I feel like, like, I don't know how like water works, you know, the, like they get picked up mm -hmm. in the rain or in the water and then they... So maybe it's like, um, uh, what are those called? Water spouts. You know, it's like a water tornado. Yeah. So maybe it's like a water tornado picks up all the fish and then dumps it on the land. It's like Sharknado for reals, guys. Oh, oh wow. my gosh. That's crazy. So wow. if you go to Honduras, you might encounter a Sharknado. So, hey, makers of Sharknado, if you're looking for a fifth option, maybe Honduras. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Tadpolnado. Tadpolnado. <laughs> Right. That would be, I mean, that would be a little bit disturbing to see fish laying everywhere after it rains. Yeah. Unless, you know, I mean, if you're a fisherman, yay, because then you don't have to go out, you just go pick them up. Mm -hmm. I feel like probably the native people also made that more like a, like a religion too. Like, you yeah. pray to the rain gods and they bring us fish. They bring us fish. <laughs> Do they like dress up as fish? Oh gosh. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> we kind of both are funny. All right. What you um, get first? So in some parts of the world, it rains different colors. What? Purple yeah. rain. In, uh, <laughs> <laughs> in Karayam, in the Karayam region in Kerala, um, the dust tends to and like a lot of preci precipitation make can make the rain look like red, like which looks like blood. So there's place. like so much dust in the air that yeah. it falls out in the rain. Wow. And then sometimes it's yellow or green or black, which is scary. You said it looks like blood? That's what, yeah. That would be disturbing. That would be freaky, yeah. man. Fish and blood would be weird. Gosh. Raining fish and blood at the same time would be horrible. Like red rain. That would be like the worst fish. thing. Yeah. Oh, gosh. I would be like, are you trying to say something? <laughs> Might you, might, you might want, yeah. <laughs> you might want to be examining yourself there, you yeah. know. Red rain. I, I actually would really like to see that because it would be. I mean, I mean, that's really strikingly different than most things. So. Yeah. <coughs> that would be wild. Where does it rain green, or do you know? In the Kadiyab region. And um, oh, it rains all those colors in there. Yeah. I said. Hmm. I guess it's probably the different colors of dust. Yeah. I would assume. Yeah. I feel, which is kind of interesting because here in Colorado we have a lot of like red clay, but I think that's the thing, is clay, it's not really yeah. dust. So it doesn't get whipped up in But I wonder what would make it green or yellow. 
maybe or black. like there are green sand beaches in Hawaii. Oh really? Where, yeah, it's and like it's in the, Hawaii. I don't know what exact gemstone it, it might be period. I don't know. But, um, yeah, the stone has been ground down enough. So there's, like, stones everywhere with the green in them. But it's been ground down enough that the sand on the beach looks green. Oh, wow. Also, there's a possibility that your eyes are playing tricks on you, too, because yeah, a lot of the times, be... like, the reflection of, like, whatever color is reflecting off the rain mm -hmm. to your eyes mm -hmm. might look like it, but it really is clear. So That could be true. Weird. Yeah. Weird rain. So along with different colors of rain, rain and apparently rain is kind of desiring to kill us. <laughs> it comes out of the sky like bullets. <laughs> and if it were not for the air, it, it, would, it us would cut us fish. all up. It rains fish on us sometimes and also dust. Uh, acid rain is a thing also in some parts of the world. That's kind of not <laughs> rain's fault. That's, that's you know, pollution. <laughs> but uh, anyway, rain weighs a lot. Like if you've ever been swimming in water, like the weight of that water is a ton. You know, mm -hmm. if you try to lift, even if you try Something to lift, with water if, in it. for all of you people who did the ALS ice bucket challenge, you know that lifting a five gallon bucket of water is no joke. Like, <laughs> it's a lot. Water weighs a ton. <coughs> Literal ton, not necessarily. An inch of rain on one acre of land, one acre, which we have thousands and thousands of acres. Um, on one acre, it is 226,000 pounds. Wow. One inch of rain over one acre is 226,000 pounds of That's rain. Crazy. That's a lot. It's amazing. That's it amazing. rains on the on the earth every minute. One billion tons of rain. Ah, that's a lot of rain. <laughs> wow. That's a lot. It's amazing. Yeah. And here in Colorado, we don't get a whole lot of it. It doesn't happen here a lot, and when we do get a lot of rain, it's kind of a problem because then we get floods <laughs> because our ground is clay. Yeah. 226,000 pounds, one acre. Wow. That's crazy, especially because like places like in Hawaii, like on um, Mount, I'm not going to say this right, Wala <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. I'm not trying to be, I'm sorry, Hawaiian A people. mountain in Hawaii. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I can't even say where the mountain is. Kauai? <coughs> Kauai, yeah. Kauai. Kauai. Apparently, it doesn't ever stop raining. Like, no kidding. 15 days of, in the year, it, that's when, or I guess, okay, so what I'm trying to say is 350 days of the year it rains. And well, I don't know what's happening the other 15, maybe uh, it's like snowy. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Like change it up. We're gonna do snow, or maybe today it's hail. Yeah, well, just like well, with that last fact you said, like how much rain is like drops. Yeah. Like on that mountain, that's amazing. Like I wonder how much like how many inches of rain that mountain gets a year. Like 350 days is, of rain is a ton. I wonder if people live on that mountain. I don't know. I bet it is Living incredibly. Depressed. Well, <laughs> maybe. Or I bet maybe it's it really doesn't rain, rain like the whole day. Maybe like in the morning yeah, I don't or know. like at night, you know. I mean, I'm, like, I'm one of those people who loves the rain. I think it's my Scottish heritage because it's also really super duper rainy in Scotland. And But like Scottish people have gotten around the whole depression thing by saying the sun always shines in Scotland, but sometimes yeah. the clouds get in the way. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's the same in Hawaii, but I bet it's really incredibly green. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And oh, lush. Yeah. That's got to be so... That's, that's the thing, like Colorado, we went to Poland this last year and coming back, we were flying in on the plane and we were like, ugh, it's so brown. <laughs> like, so yellow brown. So yellow and brown. There's like, it's mono, It's really monotone. And the mountains are gorgeous, the mountains are beautiful, but like on the plains, it's brown. Yeah. Because yeah. we don't get that much rain. So I love going to places where it's really green and I bet Hawaii is like that. Yeah. So if you have any other wild rain facts, Hit us up in the comments or on social media and let us know those. We would love to hear from you. Um, thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And thank you for sharing this video with all your friends. Let's go on an adventure.